says it's streaming live, but I don't see it quite yet. Okay, so. Oh, there you are. Okay. Mm -hmm. There. And now, if people leave comments, I'll be able to see them as well. Um, did you figure it out, Janelle? I did. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I, think, I think we're good. I think we're sharing I don't know now. If you want to share it, Ian, or not, or if you want us to just get started, but we can wait for you. <clears throat> okay. All right. And then I am going to start recording. All right. So welcome to our oily fireside chat. We are doing things a little bit differently tonight. Um, we all got to talking about how we are so, so passionate about um, sharing what we learned about oils. And we really wanted the opportunity to um, do a little bit more teaching, I would say, with um, our friends that are watching us. And so tonight we're going to be kicking off our immunity series. I think we could all agree that with everything going on in the world and whatever you see on the news and everywhere, um, immunity is just really something that would be really beneficial for all of us to be supporting right now. It's just more important than ever that we're supporting that immune system. So there's a lot of things we can do to support our immune system. And we got to talking about how one of the maybe under-recognized areas for immune system support is making sure you have a healthy gut and digestive system. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about to kick off our series tonight. Um, and we'll jump in pretty soon here, but first I just wanna go over just a few housekeeping things since this is a new format for those of you joining us. Um, I, we will be replaying the classes um, on Facebook, but also on YouTube. And so if any of you um, have concerns about being on video, we will be posting them publicly. So I just wanna let you know that if you are uncomfortable with that, no problem, just turn your camera off, um, not a big deal. If your camera is off and you are muted, um, you can, and you have a question, you can, down at the bottom, there is a raise your hand, I believe, option or there's chat on the side where you can uh, post a question here. We also have shared it live on our Facebook pages. So for those of you that are catching us on Facebook, if you have a question, please make sure to put them in the comments. We're gonna try our best to answer them while we're here live. And that's probably the best way to get us if you've got a burning question, although I know that all of us, usually Tess is here, she's unable to make it tonight, all of us will be kind of checking the comments for questions afterwards so that we can help you out. Um, the other new thing that we're rolling out is prizes. So every week we'll be giving away a prize to people who join us live. And so the sooner you join us, the better, because um, then your name is going to be um, one of our entries for prize options, um, if you're watching live. And then we're also giving away prizes each week for um, those that are engaged and excited about the class that couldn't catch us live and are doing things to help us spread the word about oils because we're just so passionate about bringing natural health into everybody's homes. So um, next week we'll be doing a prize drawing for those who could not attend live. And the way you're entered to win that prize is by liking our Facebook posts, sharing them, commenting on them. The more you do it, the more entries you have to win. And so um, that's good. I'm actually gonna kick it off with our live prize for tonight. I have a peppermint roller here, which is fitting because peppermint is one of the oils 
that um, we use to support our digestive system and gut health that helps support our immune system. I see we have a few people watching on Facebook. So if you are, I'd like you to just say hi in the comments. I'm entering all the names of those that are watching us live um, in our prize wheel. And I'm just going to do a really quick spin the wheel draw for those of us that are live. So um, I'm just going to give a few minutes for people to hop on and say hi. And then after we do our prize drawing for the live um, attendees, I'm going to turn it over to Janelle because Janelle is a nurse. She works in the healthcare field and she's going to have lots of information for us about why um, supporting your digestive health is so important. And um, then we'll each kind of take our turns talking about different things that we are doing ourselves to support our digestive health and get you some um, useful tips and information on various Young Living products. So I've given everyone a chance to say hello and we've got a couple people here on Zoom. So I put everybody in this fancy prize wheel. And I'm gonna, let's see, can I show my screen and do this? Yeah, I can. Okay, are we ready for this? Can you guys see the prize wheel? Yeah? Yes. Okay, I've caught everyone that I can see here live and I'm gonna spin. Let's see what we got. Tammy! Yay. All right. So I have a peppermint roll on here. Um, this would be great for digestive support. If you are experiencing kind of an upset tummy, it might help calm things down for you. You can roll it right under your nose if you want to smell it. Um, and topically, you can put it right over um, your tummy to help you feel better. So I'm going to turn it over now to Janelle to take over with all of her expertise in the healthcare industry. Thanks, Rose. Okay, I, um, I'm gonna keep it pretty brief. Um, I could talk for quite some time um, about gut health and its association with immunity. So I'm gonna just give a very broad overview. Um, I'm gonna refer to my notes so I don't forget any of the important things that I wanted to talk about. But um, one of the things that's maybe not, it's un, oftentimes not really recognized as a part of your immune system is your gut. Um, a large portion actually of your immune system is in your GI tract. 70 to 75% of your immune system is in your GI tract, which is huge. So inside your GI tract, um, your gut, your intestines, that sort of thing, there's trillions of little microorganisms that promote normal GI function. So when I say GI, I mean gastrointestinal function. Um, they protect your body from infection and they help regulate metabolism. Um, of your GI immune system. So the GI tract, it's lined with a thick sticky mucus and inside there is embedded um, quite a few bacteria. I'm gonna, try, I'm gonna try to like dumb this down. I'm sorry, guys. I'm gonna try to keep it really not nerdy for you. Um, and then I'll put some comments, um, some links in the comments for some like research studies if you wanna look at them. But inside the sticky mucus is a bunch of um, millions and millions of bacteria. They live, they grow and they metabolize, um, they digest slash absorb what's considered um, both harmful bacteria and beneficial bacteria. So you've got harmful bacteria in your gut, you've got beneficial bacteria in your gut. Um, the beneficial bacteria um, is often referred to as probiotic. So it's, it's promoting or it's enhancing the, the uh, bacteria that is in your gut. It's helping your gut. Um, and let's see here, probiotic bacteria examples would be um, bifidobacteria or lactic acid bacteria. Um, these help to ensure good health, prevent disease of the GI tract of the gut and also of other systems within your, within your body. So when you 
take a look at, say, a probiotic supplement and you turn it over. Those are two very common probiotic strains that are in your pro probiotic supplement because they help enhance the, the good bacteria in, in your gut. Um, so how do good bacteria promote immunity? First off, they fight harmful substances that enter the body by detoxifying them um, and ease their elimination. So they make it easier for the body to eliminate them. Number two, they prevent the growth of harmful bacteria. So bacteria thrives in a neutral pH environment. So um, probiotics lower your pH. They make it um, more they lower your pH and by producing organic acids such as acetic acid or lactic acid. And these lower pH levels do a couple things. They prevent the metabolism of cholesterol and bile and the colon. And since cholesterol and bile metabolites have been linked to um, disease, some disease states, I won't call them out specifically, but have been linked to some disease states, probiotics can play a huge role in promoting the health of the entire GI tract. Um, another way that probiotics are um, help your immune system via your guts, are they lower, is that they lower serum cholesterol levels, thereby lowering your cardiovascular risk um, by preventing the activity of an enzyme involved in the synthesis of cholesterol. So cholesterol plays a huge role in, in our bodies. It's a good thing, but too much of a bad, too much of bad cholesterol is a bad thing. It increases our cardiovascular risk for, um, for a lot of different events, heart attack, high cholesterol, stroke, those sorts of things. So those are just a couple ways I could go a lot more in depth, but those are just a couple ways why it's so important to have good bacteria within your gut and eliminate the bad bacteria. Sources of bad bacteria. You ever hear the saying, you are what you eat? A lot of what um, you put in your gut is going to impact your health. Um, so replacing what you're eating with nutrient dense foods, things are going, that are going to enhance your gut microbe or those probiotic bacteria, the good bacteria is a good thing. Um, so probiotic bacteria, they feed off of prebiotic. Okay. So if you've got a probiotic supplement, it's also got prebiotic in it. All that really means is you're getting, you're giving food to the good bacteria. So my kids, for example, take Kids Sense. It's um, a probiotic with a prebiotic. It comes in like this little pixie stick thing. Young Living makes it. So it's called um, Mighty Pro. So it's prebiotic and probiotic. It tastes awesome. I do it sometimes. I take it sometimes too because it's going to taste good. It's like a wolfberry flavor and it tastes like a pixie stick. So it's got both the prebiotic and the probiotic in it. The probiotic that I take from Young Living is called Life Nine. It's got nine strains of probiotic um, bacteria strains in it. Um, and my story with Young Living started because I was desperate for something to help support my digestive system. And um, Life Nine was a game changer. So, um, so yes, pre prebiotics, probiotics. Um, and I have not found any probiotic. I've tried them all. I have not tried any probiotic that has worked as well as what the Young Living um, probiotic has for me. So that's a very brief overview to kind of give you insight on how the GI tract is, is affected and how it is related to your immune system. I mean, 75% of your immune system is just in that system alone. So it makes sense that if we support that system, we're also going to support our other systems within our body. So that is what I have for you. Um, as Rose said, I'm an RN. I've been a nurse for all, just short of a decade. Um, and I really love learning about specifically because it, I've gone down that road, specifically GI health and um, immune system health and those sorts of things. So I'm going to turn it back to Rose. She's going to share some more about some other Young Living products um, that can also um, support our immune systems. Awesome. I learned a ton, Janelle. I always learn so much from you because you bring the science and the nursey part of stuff. And Tessa too, Tessa was an EMT and she always brings so much good healthcare, science-y, um, uh, I'll say it like healthcare profession to stuff. <laughs> so 
Um, okay, I'm actually going to talk about my favorite topic. Everyone knows that I absolutely love CBD. My husband knows that I go crazy for CBD. My friends know that I talk nonstop about CBD. I'm like, hey Rose. yeah. I'm so sorry to interrupt. We um, Can I just do my like two or three minutes? Oh, sure. Okay, so we just got back from the urgent care ER. Yeah, Karis is wanting mama. So Karis fell off a chair tonight. I'm supposed to talk about Ningxia. I'm going to save that for our supplement night. I might double it up with something else. I'm just going to talk about immune support when you have an emergency because that's where I was tonight. So um, God gave my topic, totally winging it. No notes. My notes are on my computer. So in when life throws you an emergency curveball and you've got a kid who's bleeding from the mouth and you have to run to an ER, make sure you have your thieves hand sanitizer and some thieves hand soap in your bag because you're going to need both. Um, there's some really good articles. I saw Rose posted it and Janelle posted it and I'll be posting it as well about yucky hand sanitizers versus thank goodness for thieves hand sanitizer. Um, and then there's some really good articles about um, antibacterial soap versus thieves hand soap. So make sure you always have those two things in your bag. And then also by your door before you put on socks and shoes or flip-flops or whatever you're running out the door with in an emergency, have the rollerball of thieves for the bottom of your feet and for your wrists because you're going to need all three of those in case of emergency. So that's my tidbit for tonight. I just wanted to hop on and share that for class. My daughter's screaming, but I'm here and I shared and Ningxia is coming next week. Awesome. Thanks Have a great night, you guys. I hope she's feeling better. See you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Oh, here I thought that um, maybe Karis was all snuggled into bed and Tessa was going to get to join us for a little bit of uh, stress relief from her evening. Um, I just want to add on to Tessa's commentary about the hand sanitizer. Um, I don't have them with me. I have them on my shelf over there. I'm not going to leave to go get them. But there are those cute little travel um, hand sanitizer things. And can you buy them in like a five pack or something, I think? Um, they come in a three pack. A three pack. Okay. A three pack. Yep. And yes, those. the little cute animal oh I should wait hold on I have one here surprisingly I have one in the car okay it doesn't have a hand sanitizer in it but look how cute these are they're yeah. like little animal holders for the hold on one second I always have my thieves hand sanitizer when I'm at work on, I think it's in here let me see oh I got lavender okay hold on <laughs> uh there we go okay this is what Rose is talking about and then you just slide it into the little holder yes so I bought a couple of three packs of that. And then I tossed one in the camper. I tossed one in each of our vehicles. I tossed one in my purse. And so then I just always have it on me. I mean, they're little, they just toss really easy in the pocket of your purse. So just a little um, tip there for those that want to have their own hand sanitizer instead of a lot of those chemical ones that are maybe not um, up to, uh, the kind of standards that we would be looking for you get spoiled when you're on thieves for a while so um anyway I'm gonna jump back in to CBD and I my CBD bottles are in my fridge I actually store them in my fridge so that they don't go bad and I forgot to grab them but um Young Living has essential oil infused CBD and for those of you who caught my CBD class you remember that um, CBD is the oil from hemp plant, and um, what it does is it nourishes your endocannabinoid system. So in our bodies, just like our immune system, our digestive system, cardiovascular system, um, nervous system, we have um, an entire system called the endocannabinoid system that is dedicated to homeostasis. And homeostasis really just means balance. So when we think about bringing our bodies into balance, you can think about things like, um, you know, you bump your knee on the couch and you're in a lot of pain and um, your system's kind of going overload and to help heal it, part of that process 
involves bringing everything back into balance. So your neurons aren't firing like crazy, the pain eventually subsides, and your body comes back into balance. Um, the Young Living brand of CBD contains three different infusions of essential oils. So there is peppermint, while it's called cool mint, and that contains peppermint and spearmint. And then um, there is also cinnamon infused, and there is a citrus infused. And just like we go to our oils for different uses, you're going to go to your, sorry, my husband's coughing in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but um, you're going to go to your infusions for the different uses as well. So a lot of us turn to citrus oils for energy, for emotional balance, for wonderful skin um, cleansing and property um, soothing properties for them. We go to a lot of citrus oils. They're just good for the skin. Um, cinnamon has some blood sugar balancing properties and helps support kind of healthy blood sugars. Um, and like anything else, your mints are typically soothing to the digestive system and help with digestive um, issues that you might be facing. So the Cool Mint CBD contains peppermint and spearmint. And I did a little bit of research. I found that spearmint has historically been used to help relieve things like colic. Um, and other stomach disorders, including flatulence, indigestion, stuff like that. Um, and French medicinal uses include the use of spearmint as a way to help curb candida. And for those of you interested, you can look up candida overgrowth and um, the impact that would have on your digestive system. Um, spearmint may also help balance and increase your metabolism, which is going to just help burn fats and other toxins in your system. And of course, we all know that we pop in some spearmint gum, so it gives you fresh breath and it can just be overall soothing to your intestines. Now, peppermint, um, I found that for centuries, peppermint has been used to soothe digestive difficulties, of course, fresh in breath. It can help soothe colic gas, head tension, and it also can help soothe um, kind of when you have like yuck and acid reflux type of thing. Um, it just is soothing and cooling. So it kind of helps you feel better when you have some of that going on. Um, now, cinnamon, I found actually, interestingly enough, has a number of antibacterial and antifungal properties. And so that also may help if you're having um, kind of issues related to extra bacteria and whatnot, that bad bacteria going on in your digestive system. So um, let's see, how do I take the CBD? Um, I don't ingest it. The bottle actually says not to ingest it. And truth be told, when you ingest CBD oil, your stomach acid breaks it down quite quickly. And it does not necessarily get into your system um, in the kind of dosage you would like it to. So I apply mine topically under my tongue. I hold it there for 30 seconds and it totally absorbs in that 30 seconds time and then I can avoid ingesting it um, and get that full dosage kind of into my bloodstream, which I like. Um, and then I guess the other thing I just wanted to touch on is um, our Digiz oil. Uh, I also use that quite often. I like to apply that topically. Digiz has a wonderful blend of oils and I couldn't talk about gut health without talking about Digize because I've used it for relief for so many um, stomach issues that I've had and digestive issues, I would say. So um, my computer froze up. So I'm hoping that that's just on my end and everyone else is still doing okay. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over to Anne to pick up from here. Um, Hopefully everyone can see this. Ian, are you able okay. to? Okay. Yep. Yeah. I'm I'm okay, good. good. Yeah. Yep. You and we can hear you just fine. So 
Um, so I'm just kind of tying up the loose ends of what Janelle and Tessa and Rose have all mentioned about our immune system um, and how different products that Young Living has available from supplements to oils can help to um, boost that, that immune system through digestive health, et cetera. Um, my, I'm gonna take it in, in an angle more of a, of a fitness look at things for gut health, as well as being a, an older woman in her 50s and how the importance of having good gut health is vital. It's what I've learned in the last probably six to nine months and how I've had to um, change things up. So our body has to work in, in a synergy, okay? So everything has to balance. Um, it, they don't work alone. Now all the organs and stuff, they all have, they all have a job. And as long as all those things are doing their job, everything's good. Okay. Um, it just brings us to a, a nice little state of wellness and harmony and, you know, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual levels are all good. But if one system is working too hard, um, especially in terms that when we are stressed and stress doesn't necessarily mean like emotionally stressed, it could be physically stressed. Um, you know, you put a lot of physical strain on your body um, where other systems are kind of working a little bit in overdrive, um, kind of taking over. And after a while, they're gonna get, they're gonna get tired and, and other things are going to kind of get into an imbalance. And we don't, we don't really want that. We wanna be able to supply the body with the right fuel, you know, eating right, um, exercise, you know, you wanna, you wanna have that energy um, so that you can do the daily activities that you wanna do um, and, and have some clarity of thought as well. Now, for those of you that don't know, running is kind of my deal. It has been, I've been running now since, oh boy, for 20 years, I've been running um, from 5Ks all the way up to marathons. And I, I love to run, but the thing that I've kind of come across in the last year or two is that my, my body doesn't recover as well as it used to. And, you know, my first thing is, well, okay, am I not eating enough? Am I not, you know, hydrating enough? What's my, my um, training program? You know, is that, is that kind of way out of my reach? Should I dial it back? And so what I found was that um, because I'm in my early 50s, um, you know, I've entered into that perimenopausal menopausal stage where things kind of get a little wacky with the endocrine system, your adrenals are all out of whack, your hormones are all out of whack, and your body begins to go through this process. You fatigue quicker. Um, there's this weight gain that all of a sudden just shows up. Even though I'm active, there's this weight gain thing that's going on. And I'm like, hmm, brain fog. You know, I'm just not, my concentration is a little off. So I went back to the drawing board and decided to say, you know what? All right. So let's start and let's look at what my diet consists of. So I just totally looked at the diet. I mean, I've been taking Young Living supplements all along, um, you know, that are geared more towards the older woman athlete um, type of person, which they've helped. But I'm like, okay, so what can I do that's gonna help me through this stage in my life? So I've readjusted my diet, um, and you know, I take a probiotic. Um, on a regular basis. And what I'm finding is um, increased energy, number one. Um, and I'll kind of touch on, on a couple of the supplements that I, that I do take um, here in a minute. But the other thing is my, like, I've got 
clear thought. Um, I'm not as fatigued, of course, lately I haven't been able to run because I hurt my foot. So you had spoken about how when you hurt, when you hurt a particular area of your body, how the body all of a sudden reacts to, oh, we have to heal that. Um, it's doing much better, by the way. I've been out walking and biking and stuff. So just not running yet, um, but that's okay. Um, and so I knew that number one, I need to focus on my gut. Number two, I needed to kind of look at you know, are my hormones in balance? You know, what are some of the things that I can do specifically for the adrenal glands, the thyroid, all of those things that are geared for women my age? So what I did was I looked and I, I've actually been taking um, one of the Young Living supplements It's called Powergize. And because I'm a runner, it's, I mean, it's formulated to boost stamina and performance, but it also, um, helps to sustain those energy levels, mental and physical vibrancy and vitality when used in addition to physical activity. Um, the, it's infused with blue spruce, which is awesome. I love all the, you know, the blue spruce, the black spruce, you know, I, I love all of those. I'm always diffusing those. Um, goldenrod, cassia oils. Um, and it's not really limited to just my age. Like it could be any age. Um, it's, it's just good to have. It's also formulated with, with um, what is called KSM 66, a premium. I'm probably going to massacre this name. Ashwagandha root extract, which helps support immunity, mental clarity, concentration, and alertness. Well, there you go. Excellent. So there was something I was taking all along that I didn't realize, okay, all right, so we, we have that. What else can I do? So I also take, it's, um, it's called PD8020. It's a dietary supplement uh, formulated to help maximize my endocrine system. Um, it contains pregnenolone and DHEA, two substances produced naturally by the body with that decline with age. Um, it's a key precursor for the body's production of estrogen and progesterone, and it also has an impact on the mental acuity and memory. So again, focusing back on that clarity and, and getting it so that I'm not going, what, what, what's going on? You know, where I just feel lethargic and just, you know, so there's been a total change. Um, so since I changed my diet, okay, so what did I do to change my diet? Well, I shifted gears. I'm doing a little bit more protein in the first part of the day. And actually my meal, my evening meal has just a, a, not as many carbs in it. I mean, it still has carbs because you need carbs to function, but it has kind of some good carbs. And what I'm noticing is like my, I, I don't have this bloated look anymore on my, on my belly. And I'm just, I'm just feeling better. And I'm like, okay. Okay, what else can I do now? Not that I don't treat myself every once in a while to some good stuff, but I, I realized, okay, I can't have it every single day. You know, I can't have, I can't have bagels every single day. I used to do that for years. I'd have a bagel with peanut butter every single day. And I can't do that anymore um, because the muffin top told me I can't do that anymore. <laughs> and that's okay, you know? So I've just shifted things around. The probiotics definitely help. Um, I'm just really glad that Young Living, I have that um, in my arsenal of things to use. Um, and I mean, I use a lot more than just the two that I mentioned tonight, but we don't have time to go into all of those. Maybe another time. So I hope that helped um, give you a little perspective um, from an, an, older, an older woman perspective who is physically active. <laughs> awesome. And you said the supplement's called Power Jize, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, and now I'm like, I think I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> yep. It is. It's awesome. Awesome. Um, okay. I think that wraps up everything that we were going to chat about tonight. Um, Janelle, I think you're on mute. Do you want me to unmute you? 
I see that you're. I am on mute. Oh, you're um, all I was just saying was I should try power dries too. That was yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> I think before we wrap up, I just want to toss out to those that are watching on Facebook um, first, because there is a little bit of a time delay with what we're seeing right here live in the Zoom meeting and what they're seeing on Facebook. If there are any questions to post them in the comments kind of before we wrap up for the evening. Of course, like I mentioned earlier, if you are watching the replay of the video and something comes to mind, please post your questions in the comments. Um, I know Janelle shared it on her page and shared it on hers. I have it on mine. All three of us will be reviewing the comments to be able to answer any questions that you have. So you don't have to, um, if you think of something later, come on back and kind of add it. You don't have to do it right this minute. Um, and so then for those watching live uh, Zoom here, um, Tina, Emily, I don't know if you have any questions. If you don't, no big deal. If you do, you can post them in the chat or raise your hand um, with our reactions down here in Zoom and we can answer them. Um, I'm not seeing any questions come in. I had to open this up on my phone because while uh, Anne was talking, it was like in slow motion on my end. And then I got a thing that said I had bad internet connection. So hopefully it records healthy and not slow. So that's not like she's talking in a tunnel in slow motion. <laughs> um, okay, so then I guess we'll wrap up. And remember, if you are watching the replay, share, comment, ask questions, like, love. If we're saying something and it really resonates with you, let us know so that we can help tailor our classes um, as we go along. We like to see those reactions and know that um, we're helping you out or sharing information that you enjoy. And we'll do our drawings again next week. So same place, same time, eight o'clock next week, Tuesday, we're gonna continue our immunity series. Next week, we are gonna be talking about some more supplements. And there are a lot of them and they are awesome and um, a variety of benefits. So you're gonna learn a ton. I'm gonna learn a ton because I'm still learning about all the supplements that are out there. So, all right. Thanks for joining everybody. I hope you have a great rest of your week and we'll see you here next time for our oily fireside chat. Thanks guys. Have a good Bye. night. Have a good Bye. night.